Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I have another book review for you, and this week's book is called uh, Pagan Portals, Sacred Sex and Magic by Web Path Center. This book was a fabulous read, and I think it's probably one of my favorite from this series of short pagan books called Pagan Portals. I got an early review copy on PDF. So I can't speak really to what the book physically will look like or be like, but the content is well worth the purchase, especially if you're interested in using magic and energy work in your sexual life. The book is written by a series of different authors, and the beginning part of the book has a short little bio of all of the different perspectives that are used in the book. Even though it's written by a fairly large group of authors, it has a very consistent and approachable voice throughout the entire book. So it's easy to read and you don't feel like you're listening to a mi million different voices. The book starts with a kind of beginner's what is magic and how people might use it in sex and kind of just the, the fundamentals of what that might mean. So if you're new to sex magic, it won't be completely out of the blue or impossible for you to understand. However, it does quickly get into some really detailed and comprehensive information about how you might use sex magic in healing, in um, ritual, in group settings, in individual settings. Uh, it really packs a huge amount of information into a small amount of space. I also really appreciated how this book did a pretty good job about being respectful to gender identity and uh, sexual orientation. It never feels like it's coming from a specific heteronormative viewpoint. However, I am a cis female heterosexual, so I am less inclined to maybe see some of those issues when it comes to gender and sexual orientation than someone who comes from a minority viewpoint. But it seemed like a really great effort was made in that regard and I think it serves the book really well. It makes it seem as it should be that this magic is for everyone regardless of what your relationship is, who you are, and what you're doing. Finally, the book ends with a pretty simple but very direct talk about ethics and sex magic. Sex is obviously a taboo subject in many communities and areas, pagans probably a little less so, but there are still some uncomfortable issues there to talk about. So rather than just <clears throat> leaving the ethics part down to harm none or you know consent, it really goes into detail about what consent should mean and look like in an ethical manner, what harming none can be in a pagan viewpoint, and some other tidbits about protecting yourself health-wise, protecting you and your partner emotionally. The ethical conversation was needed and done in an extremely respectful but firm way, which I think is crucial when discussing something like this. So now, was the book really useful? Did the magic work? Which is, I think, what a lot of people want to know when they're picking up a, a more how-to book. So I can't speak to everything in the book, but there were a few things that worked really well for me, and I think it is a valuable resource that, if you're interested in sex magic, you will find to be viable and work well. This book comes out on June 26th, I believe. Um, although Amazon looked like maybe some Kindle versions were coming out early, so definitely check the link in the description below and go get that book. The Kindle version is super affordable. It's like $3 or maybe $5, um, and I think this is going to be something that people will really, really love. Thanks for listening to another of my book reviews. I hope you have a fabulous week, and I will talk to you later. As always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.